Esta semana en el verde. This week on the green. Welcome to Today on the Green. We're your hosts, Olive and AJ. There was a rock rally today. A kind of important rock rally today. Did we go to that rock rally? No. Were we supposed to? Yeah. Seth, roll the tapes. Good morning, Bearcats. Today we're going to be announcing the top 15 for homecoming. Right, so starting with Brian Bradshaw. Yeah! Top 15, and so did Trinity, our production manager. So, Trinity, come here. Woo! Yay, go us. Woo! We done it. Thanks, Trin. All right, sports. Chris, go. Hey guys, it's Chris, your athletics correspondent. Varsity girls golf played Claremont on Tuesday, and varsity girls and JV volleyball swept Colony for their last league game. Varsity girls field hockey beat Edison on Tuesday, and JV tied. Girls Tennis beat Ayala on Tuesday and Claremont on Thursday. Boys Water Polo beat Glendora on Monday and Colony on Thursday. Varsity Football plays at Alta Loma today. And lastly, Cross Country has a meet called Bell's Garden Invitational on Saturday. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. So, in more local and global news, Ariel is going to talk about the Pumpkin Patch Heritage Park. Hey Bearcats, it's Ariel, and during the month of October, Laverne is hosting its 31st annual Heritage Foundation Pumpkin Patch. This event is operating every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until October 30th. Aside from picking pumpkins, there are tractor rides and petting farms available for all ages. Many photo opportunities are included in this even along with a variety of concession stands. Parking and admission costs are free, so everyone is welcome to stop by. Now back to Olive and AJ. Thanks Ariel! And now to Natalie to talk about economics and youth sports. Hey Bearcats, I'm Natalie and today I'm going to be talking about how sports are becoming unfair. Sports are supposed to be a fun competitive hobby to make memories, friendships, and opportunities, but over time sports have become less accessible for common people. They're more expensive and more competitive, changing the purpose of playing a sport 
and the demographic of who gets to play. To be able to even start to play the sport, you need to pay for attire, equipment, a travel team, and a lot of your time. Typically, equipment is at least $100, depending on the sport. A club or travel team is about $150 a month, and you need to pay a lot of your time to dedicate to training, playing, and traveling. Since it requires so much money, it narrows down who can actually compete in the sport to only those who can afford it. That leaves athletes of a lower or middle class at a disadvantage because they did not get to be on the travel team with private lessons and college showcases. The New York Times asks in their article, do you feel youth sports in the United States are accessible to all children, or do you feel that they're only accessible to a talented few? Youth sports are truly only accessible to those who can pay for it. Even at a young age, kids are encouraged to not take sports lightly. You see kids who start out playing in a park rec league on Tuesdays and Thursdays, then all of a sudden they're picked out for a travel team and being driven all over the place every weekend for all day tournaments. It's too much pressure on someone that young. This unnecessary pressure from their parents or coaches their whole life leads to a burnout by the time they're in high school. Student athletes are often under an intense amount of pressure and stress. In an article about if high school sports ask too much from teenagers, Jacob Belgrad says, to illustrate how the life of a high school athlete goes, they wake up, go to school, go to practice, come home around six, eat dinner, do homework, and repeat. Little to no time is left for other hobbies and interests. Over time, that will affect their mindset, which affects their schoolwork and their play, which is another factor to burnout and could risk their opportunity for a future in the sport they once loved. The new higher level of play that gets brought in from the better and more frequent training that higher income players get gives teams and schools a chance at winning and being more successful. There also are more opportunities for athletes who are serious about improving the sport because of the competitive environment, leading to a successful future, but it causes the average player to be cut or have no chance at reaching that low level, but it causes the average player to be cut or have no chance at reaching that level unless they get the money. Sports are an important part of people's lives, and hopefully in the future, people of a higher income will have a better advantage than everyone else in the world of sports. Now back to AJ and Olive. Thank you, Natalie. Teacher quote time. Mr. Salucci. Always have two options. Thank you, sir. And thank you to our production team of the week. Woo! You guys did so good. Shout Amazing. out to you. Woo! Good dance. And thank you for tuning in to This Week on the Green. Come, Come back, back on tomorrow Monday to, to see, see what happens today on the green. This on week. Monday. It was this week. We're going to get that someday.